When someone tells you thank you for something you've done, what do you respond to them? So there's a variety of answers that people give. Someone says thank you, you say you're welcome, it's my pleasure. Uh, in Yiddish there's an expression, Shnishtafavas, there's no need to say thank you. Uh, I, I was happy to do it. You know, there's a variety of things you can say when someone thanks you. But how does a Jew say thank you? How does a Jew respond to a thank you? So here in this week's parsha, we have the first Jew, Abram Avinu. And the opening story of this week's parsha is how he invites the three guests into his house. We know Abraham had a tent with four doors. He always welcomed guests into his house. He was very hospitable. And he provided them with a very lavish meal, as we see. He went and got the milk and cream, and then he ran, told his son Ishmael to go get the cattle to prepare meat. And he gives them this beautiful meal. But there's a beautiful medrash that says that after Abraham fed his guests, his guests got up to leave, and they said, thank you very much, Abraham, for the wonderful meal. And what did Abraham Avinu, Abraham, respond? He said, don't thank me. It's not my food you ate. God created this food. You need to thank Hashem for the food. And that's the way he engaged them in a philosophical discussion about God, because Abraham was not just a man of kindness, but he was also the man of introduced monotheism into the world. And so he had these pagans, these idolaters, and after he fed them, he would now get into a discussion and a debate with them, because they would say, we don't believe in God. He'd say, what do you mean you don't believe in God? And he would educate them and teach them to not thank him for the food, because he didn't create the food, but to thank Hashem. There's actually someone sitting in this room, I won't say his name because he, he may be embarrassed, but he's a very generous man. And every time I ask him for tzedakah, for some cause, he always is happy to give. And when I say thank you, he says, don't thank me. It's not my money. It's Hashem's money. And that's a Jewish response. What are you thanking me? I didn't create this money. God gave it to me. So I'm giving you Hashem's money. Thank Hashem. And that's really the ideal way to thank someone for what they've done for you. To say, it's not me that gets the credit. Thank God Hashem gave me the strength. Thank God God gave me the resources. Thank God gave me the wherewithal to be able to do this. I'm happy to do it, but really you should thank Hashem. And that's what Avram Avinu teaches us in the opening of this week's Torah portion. There's a story told about uh, a rabbi who meets a fellow from his shul. He says, no, Yanko, how's everything? How are you doing? He says, thank God I'm doing great. I, I'm healthy, I'm well, things are wonderful. Two minutes into the conversation, the rabbi says to him again, so how are you doing? He says, thank God, you know, my family is well, the kids are good, uh, everything is wonderful. A couple of minutes later, the rabbi repeats the question a third time. So how are you doing? He says, yeah, everything's great, the business is doing well, I'm making a good living. By the fourth time, the rabbi says to him, how are you doing? He says, Rabbi, I've answered this question three times, why do you keep on repeating it? He says, I asked you how you're doing. You keep on telling me what God's doing. You're healthy, your business is good, the kids are doing well. Tell me what you, how you're doing. I want to know what you're doing, not what Hashem is doing. And that's where we have to know the difference. There's certain blessings, Hashem does it. We should thank Hashem, or we should tell people, don't thank me, thank Hashem that I'm able to do this. The real question in life is, how are you doing? What are you doing as a Jew? And that's what Avram Avinu teaches us. Don't stop doing what you can do, and Hashem will do the rest.